If you're watching this video, you probably have the question, should I get a Surface Laptop Studio or a Surface Pro 9? Not the 9 5G, the ARM processor one. I'll watch the video I have about that if you have that question. Now, if you're debating between the Surface Pro 9 and the Surface Laptop Studio, you're probably wondering if your applications will run fast enough, wondering about the price, and wondering about gaming performance and if there's a significant difference or not. So let's go ahead and jump into that. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the price. I think this one is very interesting. So we're gonna look at that right now. The first thing we're gonna look at here is the price. The price between these two, and watch my uh, student discount, uh, teacher, parent discount video if you wanna understand why I have a 10% discount here. This, the Surface Pro 9 and the Surface Laptop Studio, the Surface Pro 9 is more expensive when you include the keyboard and the pen, it is more expensive. The Laptop Studio, for basically the same price, gives you a dedicated GPU. Is the GPU uh, considerably better than the XE graphics in the Surface Pro 9? Yes, it is a lot better. It's way more powerful. Don't be confused, there is a big, big jump between those two things. The Surface Pro 9 Intel Evo XE graphics is the same as in the Surface Pro 7 Plus. So you can watch my AAA gaming demo on the um, Surface Pro 7 Plus, that video, I'll link in the description and you can get an idea of what the Surface Pro 9 gaming is like. There will be some increase based off CPU, but the integrated graphics is the same as the Surface Pro 7 Plus. So make sure that you understand that going into this purchase. Okay, gaming laptop studio, better and cheaper. If you're looking at doing CPU only related tasks, CPU in the laptop studio is good. It's good. It's not going to have the same uh, battery life, but the battery in the laptop studio is larger. Surface Pro 9 has the high performance um, cores as well as the efficiency cores. It's supposed to have a longer battery life than the Pro 8 with the 11th gen processor, uh, but it has a smaller battery. So we'll see how that actually pans out. So here's what I would like to point out. If you're looking at walking around and holding the tablet and writing, you can do it with the Laptop Studio, but it's about twice as heavy as the Surface Pro 9. Surface Pro 9 is going to be the better choice. If you're setting the device down on a table in front of you, Surface Pro 9 and the Surface Laptop Studio both will work well. If you're setting it down on your lap and typing, then don't get the Surface Pro 9 if you're doing a lot of typing on your lap. It's not better. So the Surface Pro 9 has a keyboard that tips out in the back that actually makes you have to put the keyboard about six or seven inches closer to you. So you're kind of like typing like this, kind of T-Rex on a typewriter type of experience, which is um, cool and sexy looking, but not very practical. So if you don't wanna type like this, then get the Laptop Studio. It sits far more comfortably on your lap, just based on the uh, way it's designed, where the weight is balanced, and that you can scoot it away from you. Drawing Experience Surface Pro 9 and Laptop Studio are almost exactly the same. I don't know of any differences. So all of those things said, what do I think that you should get? If you are looking for something where you can walk around and you have a lot of Zoom calls in the Surface Pro 9, uh, let's not talk about the 5G ARM version right now, just the Intel Surface Pro 9 is going to be a better choice. If you're sitting or you're sitting and gaming, then the Laptop Studio is cheaper and better. All right, what questions do you still have for the Surface Pro 9 versus the Laptop Studio. If you have a certain use case, put that in the comment section below. If you use a Surface device and you have questions about Surface device, this is a great channel for you. This video is sponsored by Tablet Pro Software. If you're using a touchscreen device and you don't always have your keyboard available, then you can put hotkeys right here. With the Tablet Pro software, you can change what these stylus buttons do. You have multiple different sizes and styles of um, buttons here on the side. These buttons have tooltips, so they tell you what keyboard shortcuts, what they do. 
So if you use a stylus or a touchscreen, that software is a huge benefit. Check it out. I'll put the link to that in the description. It's a very quick, easy install. It takes about two minutes. And you open up the pen tool and you just double click on these to get started. If you guys have questions about the Surface Pro 9 versus the Surface Laptop Studio, which one's right for you, write what you're planning on doing in the comment section below and I'll take a look at those and try and give you personal advice on which one is right for you. If you want to call me directly, use my PalTap link in the description and you can call me and I'll try and answer your question right there over a video call. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.